Hello guys, it's your fellow investor here with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Healthier Choice Management Corporation penny stock, which is worth $0.0011 and it has a ticker symbol HCMC and is being traded on the OTC. So if you are using a Robinhood and you are an American citizen, I'll have to tell you that you won't be able to get this penny stock because Robinhood does not support penny stocks or OTC market, therefore I would really encourage you to get a real broker where you shouldn't be worried about any law problems or about losing your money and etc. And you will have no limits. Maybe you'll have to pay a little bit of fee, but that's all, you know, and I would rather pay a little bit of fee than be afraid of losing my money. Well, that's a quite a chaotic intro. What we know today is going on with the stock market because of GME and market manipulation, the fix and the stock market is just going crazy. Correction is going on. So right now in the correction is great time to buy stocks or penny stocks which have great potential and this is one of them. That's why I make a video about it because I do only interesting stock picks videos. Why you should be interested in it which is when it's such a cheap penny stock and it did 450% within two days. So let's get right into it. The, the company, uh, the company itself is doing like, um, let's let's read it here, is a US based publicly traded company specializing in providing consumers with healthier alternatives to everyday lifestyle choices. If I skip to the read more, we can see that they are serving their respective local communities, their stores provide all natural and organic products in a friendly and helpful atmosphere, with ales of traditional grocery complete with frozen healthy home vitamins and supplements, healthy and beauty, fresh produce, ADES also offers chef prepared ready to go foods, a 100% organic juice and smoothie bar, a free trade for coffee bar, etc. So as we can see they are really making healthier food for you and this is definitely a future because people will try to get as healthy food as possible because people are starting to become more educated and more aware of this. But that's not the important part. This is just half of this company. The second half is Healthier Choices Management Corp owns nine vape stores across the Southeast United States and offers smokers an alternative to traditional cigarettes, operating region regionally through its vape store store brands, including the vape store Vapormax, Vulcan Tape and Dickey Wrap. In the crab back locations, our web stores provide an endless selection of industry best vaping hardware and e liquids, giving our consumers a way to get their nicotine without the smoke, tar, ash, or carbon monoxide found in the traditional cigarettes. So, yeah, this is why I'm making video. They are also into vapes and are a lot. For such a small company with market cap of just slightly over $100 million, they are being quite successful so far. And it's not really a new company, although we see that there is a copyright 2017, so 3-4 years old company. We can see they have plenty of sec, fi sec feelings, you know. I'm not trying to present you some uh, some bad companies, I'm just going with the trusted picks, which should have good fundamentals, so you shouldn't lose money at all, but it is kind of a high risk, high reward most of the play if you are going into the penny stocks. But this one seems a really way less risky than the others, and why is that? It's quite simple. Healthier choices management skyrockets did yesterday almost 100% amid lawsuit speculation. So here are some points what is going on but I will skip right now and look into the more in-depth article that was made on Reddit, not on uh, Wall Street Bets as everyone is just going there. It's been made in the uh, Reddit section penny stocks. And what is going on that you know this lawsuit has been filled in November but it's got popular just right now because pop penny stocks are getting popular right now. It's a trend and we can see what's been going on. So uh, there's a lawsuit between this company, Healthcare Choice Management and Philip Morris. Philip Morris is of course the biggest company in the tobacco sector, I would say. Everybody knows who, who is them, you know, and let's read the article. Been doing some research and here's a gist of lawsuit. Basically, HCMC suing Philip Morris for patent infringement on, as they call it, the 170 patent, which refers to the patent HCMC has on electric pipes, delivering systems, heating coils, etc. Alleg allegedly, PM uses their 170 technology on the IQOS product in some way, shape, and form. Now the more interesting piece of what he found was that HCMC is looking for in their judgment. 
I took this from their legal submission to the Georgia courts, take a look. What he's talking about is that you can really look here at this uh, filling, what they've done and put it to the court. Uh, we can see it's November 30th, so it's been over almost two months. And if we scroll down, uh, there's a lot, a lot of the text, so I'll just use it here uh, from, the, from the Reddit, because it's really nicely summarized. So entry judgment blah 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 the defendants and the manufacturing portion offer for sale say and or use of the defendants IKE OS product have infringed at least one claim of the 170 patent ordering defendants to account and pay damages adequate to compensate plaintiff for defendants infringement of the 170 patent including prejudgment and post-judgment interest and cost and supplement damages for any continuing post-verdict or post-judgment infringement ordering an account for any infringing sales not presented at trial and and an award by the court of additional damages for any such infringing sales, awarding healthier choices its costs and expenses incurred in this action, granting healthier choices such other and further equitable relief which they may be requested blah blah blah. So yeah, it seems really compelling uh, because of the law firm they have and it's really getting in their favor. So and here is the link to the SEC filing and um, let's go right into it and here we have our pictures. Philip Morris vape and what is wrong with it, what is it, uh, what is wrong with HCMC uh, patent and stuff like that. You can go through it, it's not too long actually, it just has uh, a lot of points, a lot of text, but uh, it's not that long of an article and I would recommend you looking into it if you would like to uh, go with the swing play. However, there is a worldwide global correction right on this any stock market exchange, so maybe be cautious with that. But I would say it's gonna pick up a really nice face after this gets into the news because it's a kind of a huge deal. If you know vapes were and are still really popular and I know people who quit like a classical cigarette smoking and went into these vapes, the e IQs, IQOS, I don't know how to say it in English, but you get me, right? Or, or many people just don't want to buy cigarettes, they get this vape and they feel cool enough. It's kind of a big, big deal. Here we can see... Uh, that claim 5 of the 107 requires activating and blah 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 we can see that it really uh, resonates with their patent so they are really on the good way and I would say this company is having it for a longer time than uh, Philip Morris and they just you know copied it and they thought they can get away with it but this company eventually caught up to the news to the to their product and they will just get the uh, you know curt to it and they'll most likely succeed, I would say so myself. Um, but it's not guaranteed, you know, Philip Morris is such a great, such a huge company. Philip Morris is such a huge company. They have over $124 billion market capitalization, when on the other hand, Healthy, healthy Choices has only 115, so it's a um, thousand times bigger company than HCMC. However, it shouldn't really um, being an issue to give money to such a small company, which they will found, uh, which they will found enough. You know, this is such a small company. So if PM will give them, I don't know how much money, it will most likely satisfy them and it will boost by a ton this company. And they can even put more sanctions towards the PM. It's just crazy opportunity right here, right now. But beware, it's again high risk, high reward, super cheap penny stock, it's not worth even one cent. So really, this is penny stock at its finest. I hope I brought you some value. If I did, please subscribe to the channel so don't miss out on any new upcoming videos and click on the thumbs up as well. Both helps me out tremendously. Also, let me know down in the comment section below if you have any questions or if you have any other interesting stock picks which I should have looked into. I'm trying to get through all of my comments. If I do, if I not do it one day, I'll do it the other day, you know. But I still get through most of my uh, comments. I read through them, I heard them so you can see that I saw them. And yeah, I really enjoy being with that you guys. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.